we continue our patrol in the Celtic Sea. Our gun engagement with the enemy troop transport left a deep impression on every crew member who was on deck at the time. After the excitement had passed, I thought back to what we did. We had just sank a passenger ship. It is our luck that it wasn't used as a passenger ship anymore. But that is not something that we could verify beforehand. Disrupting enemy troop movements is one of our mission goals, and it is likely that we will someday again be in such a situation that I have to make the decision if the ship in front of us is carrying civilians or soldiers and war supplies. I despise the fact that the enemy is using converted passenger liners as transport ships. With that callous act, they have painted a target on every passenger ship that is carrying civilians under their flag. With that, they are also putting us in a very difficult situation, where we can't win regardless of what we do. If we sink those ships, we might kill innocent civilians. If we don't sink them, the enemy will surely notice and use them to transport the most valuable war supplies. But those thoughts aren't really what left such a deep impression on everybody who witnessed the sinking. What left such a deep impression was the sight of the survivors. On their faces was visible the whole range of negative human emotions. Panic, fear, apathy, resignation, anger, hatred. But most disturbing was the sight of who seemed to be the officer in charge. He stood there, staring at us, not simply with hatred. A calm, stoic confidence a confidence that he had no reason to feel at that moment. But I looked in his eyes, and for a moment it was as if I could read his thoughts. His confidence was not arrogance. His confidence came from an inner conviction that they lost the fight today. But at some point in time, it will be us who will lose the fight, and we won't be able to get into a lifeboat. These thoughts they keep swirling around in my head. I have to put them aside, for my sake and for the sake of my crew, before they lead to costly mistakes and fulfill the officer's prophecy. Kriegsschiff kommt näher auf 8.5. Neuer Kurs 1.9.2. Ein Kriegsschiff? Das werden wir uns ansehen. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Kommt näher. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our amazing Silent Hunter 3 campaign with the One Alex Mod Edition. So, today we have a warship contact somewhere on the horizon. Our hydrophone operator has picked it up. So it is actually way beyond the horizon, probably. I will soon come up to periscope depth to take a look, but for now we are simply listening in to the target, trying to determine which way it is traveling. And this just gave me the confirmation that, tra that it is traveling from right to left. So yeah, let us do the following then. We are going to turn this way. And now we are coming up to Periscope depth. Bring us up there. We are turning the boat. I'll actually increase our speed while we do that. Now, we are currently in the middle of BF-15 here. And the fact that there is a warship traveling through our patrol area, which so far didn't happen, is concerning me a little bit. Did the British grow tired of our shenanigans here and are now sending warships to make sure that we can't just dun uh, gun down freighters in broad daylight? I don't know, but we are going to find out. And if that warship gets into a position where we can maybe take a shot at it, we just might. Okay, we are periscope depth now. But the turn is still continuing. 
let's complete that first. We ordered a course of 97 degrees. That's going to be completed very soon. There we go already. The rudder is traveling towards the neutral position. We can go ahead and slow Jawohl, down the boat. Hydrofern, give me an update on the contact. Bearing 90. Let's take a look through the observation periscope. Bearing 90, this way. Alright. Nothing on the horizon as of yet. No, not at all. Let's take a quick look. How much longer until the sun goes down? Maybe an hour, something like that. Not too long, but still the sea is perfectly calm. The visibility is excellent, very far. I don't want to surface in these conditions with a warship. I don't know what kind of warship, but if, but with some kind of warship beyond the horizon. If an airplane should approach us, see us and report our position to that warship, we might be in for a really bad time. And I'd rather surprise them, if at all possible. But there's definitely nothing visible on the horizon right now. Yeah. Okay, down periscope. We are going to continue on our way here for maybe 10 minutes. And then we should be closer to the target. Maybe we'll even be able to see it then. For now, we are continuing our journey. Welcome back. I can now see a very, very faint column of smoke rising, rising over the horizon. Over there, can you see it? Kriegsschiff auf acht, sieben. Kommt näher. It is there, definitely. And it is actually getting in front of us. It is currently outrunning us, so we will increase our speed. Down periscope. And we are going to wait a few more minutes. And then maybe we can already have visual on the target to identify what it is. A little bit of time has passed and I have sprinted closer towards the target for a while and I think we should now be in a position where we aren't too far away from it. So let's raise the periscope. Carefully though. Target is somewhere on this bearing. There. You know what? The waves, uh, the sea is so damn calm. We need to slow the boat down before we can raise the periscope. Otherwise we will produce a very visible periscope feather and they might pick up on that. That would not be good. So let's wait a moment until the boat slows down and then we will be able to take a look. Since this is a warship, I will be perfectly okay to use the recognition manual to identify the target, to determine range, course, speed, everything. And if I decide to attack, we will have all the values that we need. Okay, I think it's safe enough now. What is that? That looks like a small frigate or corvette. I'm not quite sure yet. Still... It is pretty far away. Kriegsschiff auf acht, sechs. Kommt näher. Down periscope. Wait, let me make an estimation of its AOB. But let me first lower the periscope and get the weapons officer on station. Actually, your station, dude. There we go. Um, back to our observation periscope and I this is the last time that I'll be using the observation periscope we will be continuing with the attack periscope from here on out 
Let me select the weapons officer. I see the target at an AOB of... That should be... That should be more or less 45 degrees, shouldn't it? So something like this. Maybe so. So the target is traveling on a course of about 50 to 60 degrees. Okay. 50 to 60. I think I'm running a nice intercept course, actually. I might give myself a little bit more time to close the distance by turning... No, actually this is fine. This is fine. We can stay like this. Speed up the build again. Red lights have been engaged. Hi, the film. Let's have a listen. Very distinctive. Apparently really traveling at a high speed. Whatever high speed means for this target. But yeah, that is out there. It seems to be a small frigate or corvette. A small frigate or corvette. What do I do with that information? Let's go to the attack periscope and take a look. Outward periscope. There it is. We can try to identify it. Let's assume that it is British. This is just guesswork though. Let's go to England. And let's go to the smaller ships. So I see one funnel center uh, with a mast apparently right in front of it. Bridge structure in front of the mast. Down periscope. Let's skip the very small boats. An ASW trawler. Let's have a quick look. Could this fit the dimensions that I'm seeing? No, I don't think that this is the target. No, I don't think this is it. Let's continue. No, no, no. Not you. Definitely not you. This would appear to be closer to what I'm seeing. If I just look at the silhouette down here. This one. But I'm not 100% convinced. It is possible though. It has a mast funnel just behind it. But the funnel seems to be higher than the bridge structure. So let's keep looking. Flower class. This could be it. This is looking very close to what I'm seeing out there. Let's have another look. Yeah, I can see there is some kind of air vent just behind the funnel. You can see it here on this picture as well. Another weapons platform in the back. Is there a small mast back there? Or crane, not mast. There is something, yes. I think we might be looking at this ship. Just to make sure, let's continue looking. No, this is too big. It's not the Black Swan. River class. No. The mast in relation to the structure. The proportions do not fit. Colony class. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a captain class here. This is too big of a ship. 
and it's not a full-blown destroyer. It also has only one funnel, so it might be a colony class ship. But the colony class ship would have two weapons platforms on the bear. Taking a look. Weapons platforms, I th think I just see one in front of the bridge. Disregard this. River class. I don't think it is a river class. The funnel is too small. That's what's bothering me. I think we are looking at the flower class corvette. Okay, in that case, what we should do now is we should measure the target speed. I know the range, uh, the length of the target, 63 meters. That's not a big target. That's actually really a small target. Okay, here's what we'll do. Turn the boat. Turn the boat right. Prepare to take a speed reading. I have to be mindful that I don't close too much with the target. Otherwise they might hear our engines. So I have to be careful with that. We should be okay there. Hydrophone. Target report. Medium range. Shoot them. I need to be careful. We are closing. Let me complete this turn. And then I might slow us down a little bit. What course did I order? 160 something, I think. Yeah, we are now starting to complete the turn. We might have turned a little bit too much though. I'm not quite sure yet. Might be a close thing. Rather zero. Okay, the boat is now bouncing back in the other direction. And we are going back to our tech periscope. Target is now somewhere this way. Our periscope. Let's take another look. Closing in, already quite close now. I'm confident that what I'm seeing is actually the flower class corvette. Oh, crap. They maybe detected my periscope. Turn the boat. Prepare tube 1 for fast shot. Do I go for a fast shot? Draft on this thing, 3.8 meters. Torpedo depth, 2.5. Medium speed. Impact pistol. Prepare follow-up torpedo. Um, there we go. Damn it. AOB 0. Speed of the targets. Speed is 16 knots maximum. Use 13. Range the target, we leave at 500 for now. Prepare another torpedo. This is going to get dicey. This is going to get very dicey. Okay, have a short look. They're coming for us. Tube 1, open. Open the tube. We are now in a very precarious situation. They're turning. Uh, they don't know where we are. Okay, they maybe just heard something, but they are not sure. Slow down the boat. 
Kriegsschiff. Okay, they're coming back around towards my zero degree position. Well, this has suddenly gone very wrong. Open tube 2. From trying to take a look at them to, oh my god, we are in trouble. Yeah, it literally goes that fast. Back to tube 1. Target is traveling speed. What do we have? Start the clock. Down periscope. This is just an approximation what we can do now. Shit, they know where we are. Ten seconds. No, they are they're turning too much. And they might be worried about it down the throat shot actually. Bring us right. Turn towards them. Stop the return. Range to target. Target mass height is 20.9 meters. Range to target is 5. Almost 5. What did I say? 20.9. Target range 900. We'll wait. We can afford to wait. But we are not getting away from this without shooting. That ship has sailed. This will be a tough shot. The fast setting for the torpedoes is forbidden. I don't have a choice. Switch torpedo too fast. Optical height 7. Range 650. Damn it. He's weaving. He's afraid of a down the throat shot. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. Everybody silence. Pings. Target keeps closing rapidly. Optical height 10. We have to fire now. God damn it, go away. Torpedo, los! Second torpedo. Go! Crash dive, crash dive! Turn the belt, turn the belt, turn the belt. Come on. Torpedoes. No hits. No hits. Der von der Kiel. Good, we have about 90 meters to play with. Straight now to Rada. Commence torpedo reloads. We have been rattled. Back to periscope depth. No, belay that order. Stay at this depth. Slow speed ahead. I have a special surprise for this guy the next time he comes around. Hydrophone. Updates. Constant updates. Okay. 
Straighten out the weather. Target running in. He's running in. Full speed ahead now. Turn starboard. Up to Periscope depth. Damn, he's coming up on our left side. The turn to starboard might have been the wrong choice. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Let's hope he misses the pattern. And drops too deep. Come on, you bastard, drop too deep. Straighten out. Shit, he's dropping. Stairs this level. That's not a lot of time. Go up, turn left. No, he laid that order. Turn right, turn right. Slow down the build. Tube 5. Tube 5. Two and a half. Impact. Fast speed. Open nipped. Nah, oh, man. You don't have me here. Stop the turn. Don't stop the turn. Continue left turn. Continue left turn at high speed. His turning radius might be too short. I'm turning the wrong way. Damn it. Messed that up a little bit. Doesn't matter. Might still work. No, it won't. Stop the turn. Crash dive the build. His turning radius is too small. Start turning left. Also, weapons officer station. Close tube 5. On 40. Shit, that's in front of us. 50. Bring us down to 70. This is dropping above us. Good. Depth on the kill now. We have been damaged. How damn? How bad is it? It's just minor damage to the deck gun. Okay. Back to silent running we go. Depth here is about 80 meters. Hide the phone. Updates on the target. Where is he? No sound contact. Okay. Let me have a listen then. Behind me. Excellent. Going which way? Bring our speed down. Which way is he turning? He's coming towards the right side. Start the turn left. Let's present a narrow profile. Hi, the do you have him? Kriegsschiff entfernt sich auf 174. 
174. Yeah, yeah, they might be pinging us, that's fine. Straighten out. Start turning right. They've come to our left side. He's running in. Increasing speed. Oops. He's increasing his speed. Start a turn left. Full speed ahead. That's a thick pattern. Run, 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 run. of us, right? Damn, this is all around us. Damn it. Damage on board. What is it? Electric engines. The compressor is damaged. That's fine. That's not too bad. Okay. Slow down the build. Hydrophone, where is he? 22, turn right. Turn his way. We might be able to exploit this narrow turning radius. So this compartment took some damage. But thankfully the electric engines are still fine. Just the compressor that got knocked out. That's not too bad. I'm not affecting repairs right now because repairs make noise. Noise that I can't afford. Hydrophone, would you follow the contact please? Side on to us, that's bad. Keep turning. Keep turning. Damn it, he's coming up on my side, even though I'm turning. Still, we might be close enough that he can't detect us with Aztec. That's my hope right now. Yeah, I think I hear him. Okay, run straight. Continue this way. I think he's passing next to us. I don't hear any pings. But I'm prepared to... More depth charges. Very shallow pattern. He has no idea where I am. This was an extremely shallow pattern that he just dropped. Also not a big one. Keep calm and carry on. Keep calm and carry on. He's moving to our rear. Warship lost on Boeing 16. Let me have a. He passed above us. Okay, continue to turn right then. We might have an opportunity here. 
Either phone, pick him up again. Then turn the other way. He's coming up on our left side now. I'm turning in towards him so that he once again won't have enough time to pick us up on Astic. We are turning slowly, but he is running up our left side. I hear him. I do. Passing overhead. Passing behind us. Stop the turn. Behind us. Wow. What started as an attempt to identify an enemy warship and to maybe maybe set up uh, an attack on it turned into a fight for survival. You really, really, really have to be careful when the sea is very calm and the weather is very good. They spot your hydra, your periscope so easily. It's incredible, really. He dropped some depth charges, but that was nothing. Warship lost behind us. Let me have a listen. Coming up behind us. Going which way? Going towards the left side of us. Yes. Start the turn right then. Hydrophone, keep me updated. The trick is the trick is to keep him behind us. Present a narrow profile, hope for the best. Stop the turn. It's coming the other way now. No, it's coming that way. Continue the turn. Stop the turn. He's not moving away. Okay, he's now coming up on my right side. Speeding up. Turn left. Turn left, turn left, turn left, come on. On 7, 8. Getting there. Stop the turn. Coming up my left side again. So we are going to turn right. Warship lost. Either from pick him up again. I implore you. Near yeah, sound contact. Ah, oh, goddammit, you are sometimes useless. Have to do it myself then. Nothing? Nothing? 
Stop the turn. Holy shit. Turn left. He must have passed above us. Actually, turn right. Turn towards it. Let me have a look. No, do turn left. We are trying to maintain a general southern course. Heidefern, give me updates again. Okay. He lost us. For now, he has lost us. We just have to keep him behind us. One twenty, one thirty, getting there, getting there. Okay, getting there. Keep turning left. Indeed, we are getting there. Pings again and just in time. Keep turning. Keep us turning. Seventy. Great job. Let me take over. Stop the turn. Start the turn right. Yeah, he's coming up to our left side now. The water rushing through this pipe is a little bit concerning, but uh, we'll be fine. This, by the way, what you're seeing today, let that be a lesson for, for evading uh, destroyers and escorts dropping depth charges on you. Keep... Damn it, he's running. He's running up my left side. Um, keep them behind yourself. Keep a very narrow profile towards them. That is your way to reduce the probability that they will pick you up with the astic. The pinging that you hear. The pinging that you hear is... Crap. The pinging that you hear is the astic pinging your boat and, well, that's giving them a return signal if there is enough surface of your boat that the signal can be reflected by. So if you minimize the surface by presenting a very narrow profile, there's not much that is being bounced back. And now I'm in trouble. 217 might just be enough surface area for them to get a strong return. We are reeling it in now again. Probably they have turned right. I don't, I don't know if it will be enough there. Okay. I think he's traveling behind me. Yeah. Stop the turn now. Yeah, he's coming behind me. But the Astic is not their only means of detecting you. Even if they don't ping me, I'm not safe. Your engines are making noise and they can detect those on their own hydrophone. If you are making too much noise, that is. I have now ordered the crew to run silent, so every unnecessary noise inside the boat has stopped. And I have reduced my speed. You can see the engine RPM gauges up here. These two for the port and starboard engines. And I've reduced my speed to below 100 RPM. I might even drop it a bit further, but that will mean that my boat will start to drop slowly. I want to maintain my depth right now, so what are we? About 80 revolutions per minute is fine. Hydrophone operator, where's the 
On 5-1. Start the turn left. Still trying to maintain a general southerly course. You should always think which way do you want to escape. And try to maintain a course in that direction, more or less. Because once the escort has lost contact with you, he will keep searching the area behind you. And you want to increase your distance from that area. If you go in circles, it's not going to happen. So pick a general direction and continue to head there. One six zero. One six six. Okay. Stop the turn. Even without my turn, he's coming towards my rear. Hi, the film. What do you think? How far away is he? Medium range already. That's good. That's a good sign. We are no longer at short range. That means we are indeed increasing our distance. And we now just have to continue this game. Of keeping a narrow profile pointed at him. That's why I'm now going to start to turn right. Keep a narrow profile pointer towards it and just leave the area. Stop the turn. Jeez, this was a close one. What did we learn from this? If you see an escort, don't get too close. <laughs> That's number one. Keep your distance if you don't want to engage. If you're not 100% certain... What? We have a problem. There's another one. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Sound contact, extremely faint. And my hydrophone operator switched to the new one. Because he couldn't hear. There we go. 189. Come right. Our patrol area is getting hot. Stop the turn. I want to know what the escort behind me is doing. Still searching. That's what he's doing. Turn left. He's still searching. I thought that maybe we were so lucky that he gave up the search. But no. Stop the turn. With another escort approaching, it is vital that we do not get detected again. Absolutely vital. If two escorts can coordinate their efforts, escaping from them becomes so much harder than just escaping from one. Escaping from one escort, especially if it's not a full-blown destroyer, but something smaller, can be done with relative ease. Escaping from multiple escorts at the same time? Damn, you're in for a bad time if that happens. Hi, the film. Keep me updated. Still, I'm keeping a generally southerly course, even though I'm turning left and right all the time. We are slowly getting away. By the way, hi, the film. Tell me how far away is that guy. Short range. 
Yeah, okay, we are not out of the doghouse yet. We are still in a pretty tense situation. But we are getting there. Warship lost bearing 1A2. It passed through my baffles. That's maybe why he lost it. Come on, dude. Pick it up again. No, that's the wrong one. Still the wrong one? Let me do it then. There it is. Turn right. Can you pick him up now? You can. 2-1-1. Okay. For now, I will continue to run like this. And I'll bring you in on the action if we get depth charges dropped on us. Or if we manage to escape. See you soon. Welcome back. I think we have made it. The escort seems to be moving away in a constant direction. The bearing to them is basically changing only very slowly now. And they're maintaining a constant speed. The propeller RPMs or the, the engine RPMs are not changing at all. So I think they got bored of this game and turned around and are sailing away. And that should mean that we are safe to come up to periscope depth. So that's what we are going to do now. The target or the enemy is still being reported at medium range. So I guess they're moving away very slowly. Periscope depth, come on. We will start to approach the surface. That will take a long time at our slow speed from this depth. So. Let me make another little cut here. Well, here's a rather unfortunate update to the situation. The second warship that was coming in, being called in by the first one, has arrived in the area. Damn it. And it is now the closest one. But it seems to be running past us. Let's listen in. Yeah, this thing here is running fast. And the other one... Kriegsschiff auf acht, zwei, kommt näher. The other one is still continuing on its original course, sailing away from us. But now we have this one to contend with. Well... What can we do? We can just keep going this way. I think that is safe enough. I imagine that if they come into the area and they start searching for us, they will search at the position where we were reported last. So if we stay on this course and simply go our way, we should be in the clear. I've made it up to 56 meters now. Still a long way to go until we are at periscope depth and until we can take a look around us. Well, well, well. Yeah. I have one huge, potentially very dangerous issue. 
and that is that before this whole mess started, I have been submerged during the daylight hours. That means that the um, level of, of oxygen in the air in the boat has already dropped, I think to about 19%. I still have a few hours that I can go without surfacing before we have to start using the um, the briefing apparatus. Okay. The distance is now no longer closing to the contact off to our side. That's good. Hydrofern, what do you think? How close is he? Medium range, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. But if this mess continues for another hour or two, I might get into the dangerous situation that I have to start using the um, briefing cartridges on board. I really should have surfaced for some time when I first heard the um, first warship on the hydrofilm. Just refresh the air in the build. But I didn't, and now we're in this mess. Learn something for next time. Oh yeah, this was a very important les lesson to learn. Well, we'll continue on our way until um, we are sure that we are far enough away from any potential contact. Then we will increase our speed and we will start repairs. But until then, let me make another cut here. Welcome back. After a long, long time climbing up to periscope depth, we are finally there. Look how slow the needle is moving. And it has sped up now that <laughs> our speed has increased a little bit. I really would like to be able to manually control the dive planes like it is possible in Silent Hunter 5 with mods. Unfortunately, it was, no, it was never possible in Silent Hunter 3. That would be a really good thing. Because dive plane adjustments by the crew can really slow you down a lot. Now, the escort out there is still out there and it is now being reported at long range. So I think we are safe. That escort is now behind us. And the other one is barely audible right now. So it's very far away. Still, let's come to the attack periscope and we'll take a look towards 155. A very careful look. Okay, as you can see, darkness has descended. And over there on the horizon, I can see a shadow. There. But nothing that is really visible. So at this point... At this point, secure from silent running. There we go. We will commence torpedo reloads. Are those... No, we need more crew. Yeah, that's enough crew to enable us... to enable a slow reload, but that's fine for now. Uh, let's see... You are... Our repair specialist. You will get a few men and I want you to start repairing the electric engine compartment. I don't think the repair will take long, but I want it done. You are also a repair officer. There we go, that should be plenty. Maybe I can even reduce their number a little bit without impacting the effectiveness. There we go. Good. They are now working. The compressor should soon be repaired, and um, then we can move. Then we can probably move on to the forward deck here that has received minor damage. That should stop this nonsense. But let's first get the compressor repaired. We'll need that to replenish our compressed air reserves. I'll give you a final update once we have sorted out everything and we are ready to surface. Alright, 
As you can see the nonsense has stopped, the compressor has just been repaired. We have already reloaded one of the torpedoes, the other one is gonna be reloaded very soon. To repair the damage on the foredeck we will need to surface, we can't do it while we are submerged. So off to the attack periscope we go, let's take a good look around ourselves. Rotate the periscope. I don't think there's anything near us, but you can't be too careful these days. Lower this periscope. I'm going to raise the observation periscope and take a look through this one as well. Because in theory this one should allow more light to come through the periscope and therefore have a better visibility at night. Nothing. Hydrophone operator, nearest contact, no sound contact anymore. They are gone, they are both gone. Thank you. Nothing visible in the sky. Still, we are observing standard procedures. Speed up the boat. Okay. We are picking up some speed and then we are going to surface the boat. And it is high time. The um, air level has dropped to 18%. The oxygen level in the boat. So we really do need fresh air. Okay, good enough. Auftauchen. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Oh, man. This feels great, seeing the needle rise like that after being depth charged for so long. Good. Very good. Watch crew is getting up there. I'm making a quick inspection. Any damage that I can see in here? I don't think so. Anyway, start repairing the foredeck. That shouldn't take long. Let's go to this room. Quick inspection. The bulbs are still intact. Now oh, that was only light damage by a depth charge. Could have been much, much, much worse. We are fine. And the forward deck has been repaired. Let's get up there on the conning tower. Nice. We are continuing to run south, leaving this area behind us. Recharging batteries. Reduce our speed a little bit though. There we go. Where's the antenna? Radio operator sent out a patrol report. Report sent. All torpedoes have just been reloaded. So we are once again in prime condition. Wow. What an engagement. An engagement that definitely could have been avoided and that definitely was an important lesson for us. And I'm glad that we had this lesson while dealing with only one escort. We'll do better next time. For now, we are down two torpedoes without sinking anything, but we still have plenty of fish on board. Six more torpedoes in the forward tubes and one torpedo in the rear tube. While we were submerged, I did ask myself one question. Why are there suddenly escorts out here in this grid square? Two possibilities. Possibility one, they um, are searching for the ship that keeps sinking their freighters here. Possibility two, they are sweeping ahead of a convoy. It could be possible. Because the question that I, I now have to ask myself is, do I stay in this area or not? If I stay in this area, I might have to deal with more escorts. But I might also intercept something that is coming this way. So I think I will remain in the area for now. We'll see where this goes. Now, this has been it for today. This was a pretty tense episode and I do hope that you have enjoyed it. 
I certainly did in, well, some kind of weird way. <laughs> no, it was fun. It was still fun. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope to see you again next time. Until then, have some really great days and goodbye.